So to bleach this hair, I'll be using 40 volume developer. I always use 40 volume developer because I just feel like it just goes the quickest and I don't have time to be sitting around waiting for nobody or nothing. So I'm going to be putting two scoops in there. Like I only use four scoops in total for like, you know, the whole highlight process. So I'm putting two scoops in there that I'm going to be adding, you know, the, the developer. I do want it to be like a looser consistency, not too thick because it's a lot of hair and I do want it to slide down the hair pretty easily. So yeah, I'm just going to give that a good stir until it's of this consistency. And then you guys know you're ready to go and apply it to your hair. So when applying the bleach to your hair, you do want to section your hair off into four sections. This is the curl pattern. As you guys can see, it's a loose wave or a water wave. I believe it's water wave. And it's a 14, I know it's a 4 by 13 frontal. And this hair is from Ash Marie. When I got the hair out of the package, it did have a funny smell as... The last hair I got from the same company had a funny smell, so I guess it's probably like a thing with this company or whatever, but yeah. So I'm just going to clip that away, the first frontal area, then I'm going to clip three sections in the back so I can, you know, bleach the hair way more easier with less hassle. So when I got to the front two, I did make a mistake like when I was bleaching I bleached it in the wrong order and it did make it a little confusing to show you guys. So I'm just going to clarify this right now. So you want to start off by splitting your front two in half like in the middle part. And then you want to split that middle part and like you know how people have the two strips in the front. You want to section those two strips out and you want to put the bleach on those parts first instead of putting it on the side piece. That's the piece I put it on first and I'm so so sorry for you guys because I did make it very confusing but just do the two strips in the front first and then you know start the sides or whatever so here is what I'm talking about right now I'm gonna start off by doing that blonde streak at this like the second row we see the first one down there we're gonna leave that and then the one on top of that we're gonna do so basically that's how you would do your highlights is every other square basically that's how you're gonna do it so yeah you guys can watch I'm gonna explain to you guys when I get to the back section because I guess that would be like you know easier for you guys to understand what I'm saying but I sectioned off one for the front two I sectioned off one piece below then I did that bleach part right here then I'm gonna part it again and then I'm gonna do the, the bleach I'm gonna bleach a section that's like like across diagonally Does that makes sense so I'm about to just do it right now I'm parting and now I'm sectioning Oh no, this is where I made it confusing for you guys. See, I'm even confusing myself right now. Like, it's not even okay. But I'm doing the two strips right now.
So now it's gonna get a little clearer, way more clearer, okay? So you see the back section, I'm gonna section that off into two pieces. I'm gonna take, it was three pieces originally, I'm gonna take two of the pieces and bleach it, and then in the next section above, which you guys will see, over top of the part where I bleach, I leave the hair black because you don't want to have too much bleach spots next to each other because then you will not see the highlights in the hair. So that's how you do it. Every single section that you bleach, the section over above it needs to be black or the section below it needs to be black. Okay? Okay. Now that the first section is all bleached, I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about as in every single other like square needs to be bleached. So I will be bleaching this one and then you guys will see after I'm done bleaching this one, I'm going to take a, like, a gap and then I'm going to bleach the next section. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you're doing that for every single row. Make sure the rows are lining up. As you guys see in the next row, I noticed that the pieces that I bleached in this one is way too wide, so I had to bleach it differently. I had to take my comb and go like, you know, above it a little bit so the black could be in between the bleach because you do not want it together because then it's going to look like, it's going to look real weird. So just pay attention to what you're doing. Don't be brush it. Take your time and everything should be good, guys. Um, this rest of this video is pretty much self, uh, pretty much self-explanatory. So just continue watching. I did wash this hair with um, Ozzy Moist, the conditioner and the uh, shampoo. Guys, I'm having brain farts right now. Yeah, so I washed it with the Ozzy Moist conditioner and shampoo and then I washed it with purple shampoo as well because I don't want too much of an orangey look because that ain't it. That ain't me. But yeah, this hair is from Ash Marie here. Um, the install video will be coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. And um, when I hit 10K on this channel, I will be doing a hair giveaway. So, yes, don't forget to subscribe. Later, guys.